Hey, it's Doug Fresh in the flesh. I give you my best to the last breath. Yes, sizzling to deliver and zeal and zest to help you on your quest of becoming your best and to keep you in check. I'm knocking you out your comfort nest once again, my friends. And a big guidepost, signpost, like a lot of these signs of inspiration here at Jimmy John's. Uh, read one here. Honesty is not only morally right, it is also highly efficient. So what I mean is my own life integrity, when I have a broke integrity, usually like breaking the rules, of ground rules or whatever it may be, it was usually because I wanted to get done more in less time. Intention was always genuine, not to hurt other people, just so I can forward myself further. And a lot of people have done this. I've talked about this in other videos with Bill Cosby, etc. You know, the video on him where he was on trial. The thing is, you can't, you just can't visit all of, and experience all of Disney World in one day. There's just not enough time. This, this, is, this is a quote from my buddy Kirk Berry. I'm reading his book, Five Powerful Tips on Motivating the Youth. I'm gonna bring him in here on the YouTube channel. But then I see, a, I remember a quote by Bill Gates and it's, people overestimate what we can do in a one year, but underestimate what we can do in 10 years. So imagine all these great things you wanna do you don't feel like you're going fast enough? Have you ever felt that way? I have. And I noticed every time I wanted to speed it up and step it up in some way, I, I end up slowing myself down. I mean, yes, I want to speed it up, right? Tim Ferriss, try and do what you can do in 10 years and six months. But yeah, it'll support you in getting creative and creating the ideas. But stay within the boundaries of what you're capable of. Stretch yourself. Shift your identity to being the best version of yourself. However, don't beat yourself up too much along the journey because I've beaten myself up like oh I didn't do this yet but fuck, I've read I've written two books I've you know created courses I've traveled the country I've gotten mentors so why do we feel this this pressure to achieve and be more it's great however how do we balance it well let's look back and reflect first of all and know that you know People who graduate college end up shifting their job seven times. I've had five jobs since graduating, not including internships I did with LA Holes and with uh, in Los Angeles and Hollywood Hills. So, to keep it blunt, guys, when we can look back and, and learn from the past and learn from you know stats and stuff, like 80% of people don't get a job within their major. That's pretty interesting. So, how can you be on the side that you want to be on? So for me, you know, I want to start start my own gym. These are things I want to do. How come I haven't done it yet? But looking back, every time I've done something, it was worth it. And if I can be fully present with it, like, let's go way back. This is me sharing my story now. High school, soccer, wrestling, baseball, three sport athlete. That gave me the confidence to go to college and you know, take on different roles, exercise science president, uh, get a 4.0. Granted, I wasn't the best academically, in fact, I had learning disabilities, and I got my notes taken for me, and I was, I went to tutor, and I worked extra hard, but I was committed. Then, you know, winning 5K races, loved to run, had fun with that, and then, you know, I had an internship where the internship didn't work out, and then I found a new internship, and I ended up going to my third internship, which was with Elliot Hulse. So it was perfect that yes, the one internship didn't work out, then it led me to the dream internship with my you know, a mentor I always looked up to. So okay, that gave me an opportunity to go to LA. LA was extraordinary, I met so many amazing people out there. That led me to other opportunities. And then I went to different trainings and I was kind of lost, like looking, like uncovering and wanting to be my best. And that led me to one training that opened up the world for me and I brought a lot of people into that training next level and then that led me to even more opportunities. So it's all leading you in the right path if you can do these three things. One, keeping a journal. I, I, I talk about it almost a lot of these videos, but when I keep a journal, I'm on top of things. I'm on the ball. I'm just, I'm, I'm aware of my life. Two is, is, is asking for feedback from mentors, you know. Pe people that aren't where you wanna be, don't compare yourself to those that are on the same level, but people you're looking up to, admiring, respecting, getting around those people. As to, three is 
meditating. Because meditating leads, it's a, it's a multiplier like journaling. It positively affects, you know, I meditated and I cleaned up everything today. And cleaning up, I didn't clean up because I wanted to clean up. I cleaned up because I meditated and I felt like it disorganized. And then I cleaned the room and I cleaned up space and went over books and meditated. Meditation sparked a lot of other good stuff. It lifted me up. So that's what that'll do. These things lift you up. Other people journaling, you know, and meditating. My experience. So trust in the unfolding of life. Have faith in your journey. See where you want to be. Visualize that. And then when you're there, come to gratitude. Like I am constantly writing in a gratitude journal. It is so powerful and it's in my new book. I have a whole section on it. But that allows you to be present and make the most of where you're at. I'm looking at the Philadelphia Eagles journey this year. They're, be, they're going to the Super Bowl. I don't, they're going to oh, they're gonna win it. It's going to be amazing, ideally. However, the whole season, they're, they, someone goes down, they do the best they can. You know? they don't, they're present. They stay in present. That's their whole mantra by people who have won Super Bowls, like Malcolm Jenkins, like Eric Blunt. They're, they're giving advice to everyone. Stay present, look at the details. Kobe Bryant gave him advice. So you can learn from these championship teams a lot. I remember one of my mentors was talking about uh, Kobe Bryant when they took the Lakers to the championship. He, he, he sucked so much from that. He learned so much from that. So what can we learn from the life around us? Constantly being that learner, doing some of these habits, trusting in your journey. You got this. Never quit. Never give up. Don't make that a pattern. Instead, make being resilient and brilliant a habit. Stay fresh. Stay blessed. Peace.